okay how we are communicating with the help of sql again sql are divided into ddl dml pcl drl and dcl or tell me the commands in ddl commands create create okay alter alter drop 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 okay yeah. so this is fine same thing what about dml insert insert update Okay, see, so insert, yeah. upgrade, update. delete, delete. truncate, merge. merge. Under truncate and merge. merge. What about TCL? Grant under rework. Ah, TCL, transaction. TCL. Commit, um, commit and rollback. Rollback. Roll roll so remember, these are important. Okay, so the, okay, don't forget and don't mix up these things. Okay, transactions, commit, rollback. So DLR is select the state. Element. What is DCL? Grant and revoke. Okay, go to the point. Now tell me difference between drop, truncate, and a delete. Tell me difference between, I guess, tell me. Drop will remove the database object from the existing, I mean, object from the database. So database object completely removing, okay, from database. Okay, then what about truncate? Truncate will reset the, uh, what is it? It will truncate. drop the data, delete the, the data, data, data. reset the Okay, remember reset it that is said, that is there in Oracle, here no reset will be there. So truncate, what will do? Truncate reset will, it. okay. Data. So remove, remove all the data, data. all the data. All the data. So, what about definition? Delta definition will be there. Will be there. Okay. So, what about here in the drop? No definition. So, in the sense like what? So, data entire database object we are trying to move. What about delete? What about delete? Particular data will remove all data. Particular data. So, we can remove all records or specific records. Specific records condition. Okay, got the point. See, truncate is nothing but what there is no filtering concept here. Filtering concept is there now here. So, database object plus data plus definite and that thing will be removed from the things. Got the point. So, this is important. Okay, now what is grant high level? Sir, we covered yesterday granting the permissions to the user. No, just I'm giving brief about it. Okay, let's, okay. Uh, tell me what is grant. Giving the access permissions. Yeah, to so, so permissions are privileges to work on any database object. Okay, tell me before that in real time, what are the environments you'll have? Environments? Dev. Okay, Dev. UAT. Then, then UAT. So it's UAT, SIT, Preprod. Or sandbox and production. Tell me out of all these things, in which database will have full privileges, the read and write access? Dev. In the development. So in the development database, we'll have complete access. That is, so read and write. Read and write access. Okay. So same thing, these are, remember, these are all testing environments okay uat sit pre port these are the testing environment okay so what about prod prod is nothing but the live data okay so applications so we are trying to work okay got the point of this is live okay so you get to the point sir see these are the test environments will be okay now tell me in this all this environment will have limited access in the prod will have only read access okay read access only whereas in the development will have Read and write. Okay, so these things will be done by what? By the grant and revoke privileges. Got the point. If you want to do, if you want to select, if you don't have any objects, you suppose like if I try to exit something like select any database, something like this. Now what happened? I'm putting select star from okay, saying what? Control enter. Okay, it's saying object even does not exist or not in the sense like what if you say like not in cell. 
so we don't have the privileges so privileges who will give by the help of grant and rework command okay so this is fine okay so give me one second we'll go for one more topic So only two, three guys sending task. Okay. So you should do the task. Okay. So you get in the points. So you go back here. Now try to create the same thing. Hmm. Tell me in this. So we are in which database? Yeah, okay. okay, by using which, how can you get these things? By using query, I want to get? Select current database. Current okay. database. Current database. Current database. Current okay, schema. current schema. Okay, and what is my name? Current? Current user. Current user, okay. So see, we can get the same thing. Okay, so COVID DevDB, so public schema. In this database, in this schema, I want to get list of list of tables. How to get list of tables? Show tables. Show tables. Show tables. Show tables. Okay, sure. Okay. So now I want to see list of columns. Uh, tell me how to see list of columns. Describe, describe, describe table describe. table name. Okay, see table name. Okay, see for number it is 38. For where care, if you don't mention what's default size, if you don't mention the default size, what's the default size? 16 MB. 16 MB. 16 MB. Okay. okay. Same thing now. What happened? Come back to same thing. So this is database. This is schema. Now I want to get the definition of this particular table. So How to get the definition? Get DDL. So select get underscore ddl bracket open bracket close we should mention table name. Table, table name table name so table name is what employee will be the table name. you get the definition so the ddl one second okay now we can able to get same thing now what happened now i want to see this data in this particular table i want to see what are the records are there okay how to get Select a star from employee. So select a star from employee. Okay. Yeah, now yeah. what is star here? Star is nothing but what? All the columns. Okay. All see? the columns. So name of the star. It's a projection operator. Right. Okay. It's a what it will do projection operator. It will project, project all columns and all records okay in the table okay got the point i see so select star from if you find this query what happened it will project all the columns and all the records in my table got the pointer so it will projecting all the columns and all the records see there are so much see why we are getting employed first tell me because we created employee employee first okay see what happened so we create employee, employee name, salary. So same order, it is projecting. Okay, it will project all the columns and all the record. Suppose like I don't want all columns, I want only specific columns. Then what I should do? You can specify the column names. Column select names. Column. Select them. Employee. From employee. I want only specific columns. Then what you should use? So employee ID, employee name. Okay, see so specific columns only. We can write. If you don't mind, it is projecting all the columns. It is projecting specific columns. Okay, same thing now. What happened? Important. Select a star from employee. Now it is projecting all the columns and all the records. Now I don't want all the columns. I want only specific records. I want only particular record. Then which concept will come into picture? Specific columns. Where condition. So filtering concept will come into picture. So today we are discussing filtering concept. Okay, see. Filtering. Okay, see, filtering concept. Okay, see what happened. So I don't want to see if you see it is projecting all the columns and all the records. It is projecting specific columns and all the records. There are totally eight records. It is projecting, but requirements that what I don't want all the columns. I want only specific record. Then we should go for filtering answer. That is 
wear class. So see, so this is important. Okay, so totally how many cards are there? Eight cards are there. Okay, see, 100, 200. I don't want all the departments. I, I want only department 200. How to write the 200 department? How to write the ID equal to 200. Where, where, where class? Where class? DPT ID equals to 200. What it will give? It will give only 200 department. Okay, see one more time. It is projecting all columns and see 100. I don't want 100. I don't want 300. I want only specific condition. Only the condition match will give. Suppose like I put 2000. Tell me anything matching. Eh? Anything matching? Eh? No. No. Now tell me no. where is compulsory condition, optional condition, where is? Where, where is the optional one? Even though if it is a condition is not matching, it is going to return zero records. No, when when it's not matching, when it's not optional, then how can you say it's a record? See, it's a compulsory. This condition need to be satisfied. Then only record will be, no? So, see? Yeah. Now, question is that what? Okay, see, where is compulsory condition? So, in the sense, like condition, if condition match, record will get. So, where is? compulsory condition in the sense like what if condition match only only records records will be displayed displayed got the point huh? so if condition match only records will be displayed okay suppose like same thing if i put 200 now condition match record will be okay if i put 300 only 300 so this is compulsory in the sense like what when this condition match only records will be written suppose i put something like or data won't be. so in the sense like what so here this condition should be matched only it's a compulsory condition now what happened i want to get department id 300 as well as salary 75000 how to write i want to under get only condition. okay we should write one more condition that is under, con under condition and salary we'll see it. okay slowly don't worry this is important salary equals to 75 Thousand. Okay, so you get the point, sir. Okay, see, now when you're projecting, it's projecting eight records because we are not using any field. Now, what happened? There are 100, 200, 300, but I want to get only 300. See, it is giving only 300. There is three records. Again, if you see, there are 75,000, 85,000, but I want to get salary. Okay, I want to get so it is okay. Not tell me, and is compulsory condition optional condition? Mm, tell me compulsory compulsory no see, see this condition need to be satisfied see suppose like if i put something like different value tell me record will come a record won't come because so this condition it's satisfied this can see it won't give any record so here also so remember where and and where is compulsory condition okay and also compulsory condition Okay, got the point. Huh? Now see one more time if you're not able to understand. So this is important, listen a little bit. So because we'll work mostly on the select statement in real time. Okay, select to start from employee. What it will do? It is projecting all columns and all records. Okay, now what happened? Put semicolon. Okay, now I don't want all columns, all records. I want only specific that is where department ID equals to 200. What will you only? This condition matching records only it will give. Okay. Now what happened? I want to get employee ID 2 and employee ID 5. Okay. How to get? I want to get. Suppose like if I want to get employee ID 2, how to write? We should put one more and condition and employee ID equals to 2. For the point of 2. Okay. Now requiring that what? I want to get employee 2 as well as employee ID 5. How to write? Anyone? Can I put under and one more time and? Okay, see what happened. So see, it won't work. See what saying for one record. So see, it is giving eight records. It is giving what? Only 200 department or 200 having two, five, six records. So we are asking under. So under is nothing but what? So this condition, see, for one record, we are asking to get Two conditions. See, it's possible. It is not possible. Okay, so we should not write and here we should write what? We should write or condition. Okay, see. So between won't work here. So it's a less recursive. So or condition. Okay. 
first you got the point as C. So it will give whether this value or this value. Suppose like if I want to get one more record, suppose like I want to get employee ID 6. We can write one more or employee ID equal to, we'll see the use case, don't worry, okay, see, 6, 6, okay. So see, it will give, so this is compulsory condition, that's why we're getting three records. Suppose like if I put 20, uh, how many cards will get? 20. How many cards if I put 20? Two, two. two records or no records? Oh, two records. Two because records because yeah. no? So see, this is no out of this condition. If any condition, see, first the condition fail, second condition, sir, it will give two records. Suppose if I put something like 50, uh, then only one record. Suppose if I put 60, then what happened? 60 is no record. So in the sense like what? So this is compulsory condition. Out of this thing, if any condition satisfied, well, do you data. But what happens? See, this condition fail, this condition fail, this condition. So it's an und condition. So, so this is compulsory condition. Out of this, any condition need to be. Easy. Okay, suppose like if I put 2, 5, or 6. So it will go. What happened? These are optional condition. You got the pointer. So we can write two, five, six. Like this. clear so far. So if it is optional condition, you go for R condition. So instead of R, is there any option to write these things? Instead in of R, condition. so we can go for in operator. Okay. So copy the same thing. Okay. So where department ID equal to two hundred and employee ID in two comma, five comma, six. Okay, five comma, six. Okay, so getting the point. So same thing, now if you put same thing, so it will work. Okay, it will work. Okay, now see if condition matches. So see, it don't give any regard. Okay, so your conclusion is that what? So where is this condition itself? This sense, what about R? R is an optional condition optional condition okay any of this condition need to be satisfied okay so what about in in is also same as multiple r it's a compulsory option it's an also optional condition okay so getting the points are confused okay so you will see the use case you'll get some clarity okay getting the points are see clear so far so see one more time select star from employee it is projecting all the columns and all the records no i don't want all the records i want only employee id 4 employee id 40 employee id 5 employee id 6 uh, how to write i want to get the specific where records ID, you know? so we should go for so compulsory this filtering concept start with, with where class so where employee id uh, tell me in in one so when you have specific records directly will load for so four comma 40 comma five comma six okay will you like this got the pointer so like this way. so so i want to get specific record then we should go for in concept okay okay get your point so see four comma 40 comma five comma six we can able to get okay suppose like i want to get only gender m i want to get only suppose like i want to get only gender f all right we should go for compulsory optional condition and go for condition. compulsory condition that is and, and gender equals to f yeah. now see what happened data is not getting why case sensitive so data case in database is case sensitive we should write mm -hmm. capital f okay got the point now requiring that what i want to get only anything is there okay i want to get only okay suppose like both are same okay Okay, same thing now what happened? Now I want to get only department ID 100. Uh, how to get only department ID 100? We should write one more. And compulsory. And, 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 okay. and, and department ID equals to 100. Remember? 
equal to will work for only equal to will work for only single condition if you want to get multiple condition will go for in operator in operator you got the point so this mm. is suppose like i want to get 200 as well as 200 in 100 comma 200 okay got the point like this so you should divide okay got the point same thing one more time select star from employee now what happened now see one two three four forty like this i don't want i want to do in a sorting one two three four five six forty forty nine i want to do sorting how can i do the sorting in a scale order by class we should go order for by. order by okay see filtering order okay order by okay order by is nothing but what so see order by employee id ascending ascending is nothing but what tell me ascending smaller value to bigger value okay see bigger. ascending nothing but okay so smaller value to bigger value okay so this is simple english only see one two three four five six couple like if i put same thing i am putting dsc uh, what it will you dsc Descending order from descending. Large so large. bigger value to smaller, bigger to smaller. Value. Same thing, copy the same value. Okay, now I am removing this value. Uh, tell me what will happen. What sorting it will do by default? Ascending order. So by default, we'll get ascending sort. Okay, see. Okay, get the point, sir. So if you don't, if you don't mention any any anything like ascending or descending so by default what will take by default ascending order it will take ascending ascending, ascending order. order okay ascending order okay same thing now what happened you should say select star from employee so it is projecting all the columns and all the records order by order by 3 dsc anybody tell me what exactly happening Order by three is nothing but what? Third okay, column. Okay, so first column, second third. column, third column. So third it is in third. descending set. Descending set. We can able to mention. So we can able to mention order by salary descending, or you can able to mention one, two, three. Suppose like if I put ten, tenth column is there. So tenth mm -hmm. column. Okay, see, based on the columns only we should give. So what about zero? It will work. Huh? Zero at the column. Tell me it work. Huh? It also no. it, okay. See, it won't work. Okay, see, so numbering start with one and the specific columns only we should give. Okay, so like this way. Okay, so select star from employee. It is projecting all the columns and all the records. Now I want only specific. Suppose like I want to get only 100 and 200 department where department ID equals to mm -hmm. 100 mm -hmm. or Depart again, we can get our department ID equals to 200. So it will give either this value or this value. So this is optional condition. Same thing now, what happened? And I want to get okay, I want to get three fives. Okay, and we should go for employee ID in three, comma five. Okay, same thing now. What happened? I want to get only 50,000. Okay, so and Salary, uh, can I put in a folder? We can put okay. See, remember, in can work for single record or multiple records. Okay, got multiple. Point, right? so so equal to work for only, sing, only single record, in can work multiple, multiple. records or single records. Also, no. it will work without any issues. Okay, suppose if I put different condition, tell me records will come up. No, no, okay. No. See, so no. this is compulsory condition, this is compulsory. See. If, if, if you fail any condition, what happened? No records will get these things. Okay, so this should be compulsory. This should be compulsory. This out of this any condition fail, what happened? There it won't give any data. Got the pointer. So this condition satisfied. So this all the three conditions need to be satisfied. Okay, then only records will get. Okay, one more time. Once you come now, we'll go for real time use cases. Okay. So employee, it is projecting all the columns and all the records. Okay, see, control enter. Now, requirement is that word. Okay, see, okay. I want to get list of employees whose salary 
range from 50k to 75k important now okay, case so 75k now i'm putting order by yeah i am with or by three three which so by default and ascending sir so requirement is that what i want to get list of employees whose salaries are in this range okay how to get this values in this range i want to get only these records i don't want We're using between so see so yes, can sir. i go for so select this star from employee okay tell me can i write in conditions of where salary in 50000 comma 50001 because we don't know a limit so 50000 to up to 75000 can write a is it follow 25000 can it is can you join through audio i mean um, dialing or something hello Okay. okay now see what happened what i said still it will work so it is not possible you can write but what happened it's a tedious operation okay so we can't write 25000 so remember so for this range of values we should go for what concept we should go for between concept between okay see between. select star from table where between where star column between. column name between val1 and val we'll see the same thing val1 and val2 okay same concept select a star from employee it is projecting all the columns and all the records now we should go for where salary between 50000 important and 75000 tell me yeah. 50000 will become or not 50000 will come or not Yeah, it will come. Okay, so it will come. Okay, see, try to execute this query. Okay, now see, I want to do sorting. How can I do sorting? We should mention order by. Order by is the last. Order by salary descending. Okay, RSN. Okay, smaller value to bigger value. So here, fifty thousand is inclusive value. Seventy five thousand is inclusive value. Okay, fifty thousand, seventy five thousand, both are inclusive. Same thing. Understand the concept. This is inclusive. So lower limit. Inclusive, upper limit, inclusive. What is inclusive? In a sense, like what this condition also will get picked. Same thing. Now I am trying to execute this value. Now see. Okay. Tell me, it work or not? Mm, tell me. Yeah, so I am giving. Ah, uh, how many? Ah, uh, how many cards did you? Two only one record. Two only one. Two records. Two records. Two records. So see, try to execute. What happened? So see, it will give two records. So because no, so we said yeah. inclusive. So inclusive in sense like what? We can have same value. It can have different value. So this is give two records. So now same concept. Important thing. Now I'm putting. Ah, uh, tell me, it will give records or not? Yes, it will not give. Hmm? It will not give. Why it will not give? I will start to. Only value is highest. So see what happened. It won't give any data. See what happened. See. So why? Because see, it's giving records. Because so lower limit is smaller value equal to value. This is greater value. Okay. So logic is that word. So between for what the between purpose? range of values range of values okay see so lower limit or lower boundary okay always should be either less than upper limit okay okay so this should be always this should be less than or it should be equal to okay equal to okay what about this value It will work. It won't work. Okay, got the point. So always remember the rule is that what? So this should be lower value or it should be equal to value. What is it? But this is so greater than this value. So always this value should be lower limit should be lower value or equal to value. It should not be greater than. Got the point. Suppose if I put something like this value, suppose like I put forty thousand, it will give 
that's the condition match you got the point right? okay okay same thing now what happened tell me what is difference between in versus between exactly where you use in for in what? specific records specific yeah. records okay so between for what so range of values i know starting limit and ending limit got the point the right? ending limit okay yeah. suppose like tell me i want to get 1 5 8 10 we should go for what concept in 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 in, 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 in concept between one work no so between you 1 to 3 4 5 6 it'll you okay we don't want oh, yeah. okay suppose like i want to get 100 and start limit 100 and ending is 1000 okay how to get we should go for between class okay so same concept important one more thing this is very, very important <coughs> select star from employee order by one ascending okay see it is giving ascending sir now what happened it is it is having 1 2 3 4 5 6 40 49 requirement is that what i know only starting limit that is i want to get list of employees starting from four i know starting only okay so i want to get four five six forty forty nine okay how, how to get i know only starting limit okay how can i get these values mm -hmm. how can i get these values i know only starting limit by using the greater than or equal to by okay so, suppose if i want to get only fourth record how to get only fourth record select the star from Employee, employee where where employee where, where employee id equal to equal to four, four. it will give four. only four but i want i know starting limit that is four we should go over what so greater than or equals to equal. four equal. got the point so i want to do starting how to do starting order by one okay same thing our requirement is that what i i see it is giving all records okay so it's giving what one two three four now i want only i know ending limit i want to get all these records okay how to write i know ending. okay see okay no no 40 40 okay if i if i want to get only 40 record we'll get 40 but i this is the ending limit then you should go for less than or equals. okay got the point so see like this is so suppose like i know starting limit for i know ending limit 40 then how to write uh, tell me anyone select star from mm -hmm. employee okay see we can go for uh, order by that. order by one okay now requirement is that what i know starting limit we'll go for directly where yes. employee id between uh, between four and forty okay it will you no okay. issues now other than this value is there an option no? yes, sir. okay see so we can write to employee yeah, equal to 4 it will give only 4 4 but i want starting from 4 greater than, okay. four. Greater than 4 okay now what greater is it giving okay it's giving so 4 5 6 40 mm -hmm. 49 but we don't want 49 then what happened we should write one more and condition and uh, employee id less than equal to 40 40 okay now what will you 1 2 3 4 40 4, 5, 40. Now what happens? See, and is nothing but what? Only match the condition. See, we'll get only 4, 5, 6, 40. We'll get. You got the point. Huh? See, so why we are not getting 40? Because, so we're asking less than or equal to 40. Now, why are not getting 1? See, why are not taking 1, 2, 3? Because, because we are asking 4, greater than 4, and less than 40. Clear so far? Now, if you're, if you're able to understand, we'll go for use cases. Clear so far? So now we'll open the Flipkart application. Simple only. You see, simple only. Assume like this is Flipkart is one table. Tell me, I want to project all the columns and all the records. How can I project? Select star. Select a star. No. So select star from Flipkart. What it will do? It is projecting all the columns and all records. All records. Okay, see, select star from Flipkart. Assume like it is having, okay, link expert, come back. It's having five lakh records are there. Now what happened? I want to purchase one phone. Tell me if you want to purchase phone, do you require grocery? All these things, sir. Tell me. Oh, see, only, no, no. 
only only what only phone now which console will come into picture particular records where now, where class that is filtering concept okay link expert come back i'll send the link okay see where where what happened so this is see phone okay so where what happens tell me okay it's giving 9000 records okay now we should go for where category so we can take any column category equals to flip card Okay, flip card. And now, how many records reducing from 5 lakh records reducing to 9,000? See, 9,000 records are there. Okay, 9k records. Okay, same thing. Now, what happened? Now, my budget is supposed Okay, see what happened? So, it is projecting all the columns, but I want only phone cat. Now, it is reducing to phone. Okay, now suppose like my budget is 10,000. And 30,000. Okay, so this is my budget. So when this is my budget, can I go for 2 lakh records? 2 lakh phone? No? Tell me. No. Oh, because no, my range is what? My range is what? Only 10,000 and 30,000. But what I mentioned? 1.7. Okay, can I go this much range? Huh? This much range? No. Okay. So can I go for less, this less value, sir? Tell me. No, question is that what? So no, no, no. my budget is only this much only is my budget. So 10,000 and 30,000. So 10,000, 30,000 is my budget. But what happened? So I can't go this much value. Okay, so what the point? Huh? So now for range of values, what we should go for? Tell me range of values. Between. So between. 10, okay, see. So see, go for 10,000 and go for 30,000. What the point? Huh? So see, see, records are reducing. So records are reducing in the sense like what? What concept? Uh, records are reducing. No, no, filtering is fine. Okay, compulsory condition. See, so see this. Okay, so remember clear this value. So clear this value. So okay, now what happened? So see, it is projecting select a star from flip card. It is projecting all the columns and all the records. Now I want to get only phone. Phone, it will give oh. what only? It's a filtering concept now from 5 lakhs it is reducing to 9000. Again, from 9000, I want starting limit and I know ending limit. Now, tell me this is what concept? This is compulsory condition. Okay. And when records are reduced, it's a compulsory. And so, price between what? Between 10, what? 10,000 and 30,000. So, all our values are inclusive. So, inclusive. Same thing. Now what happens? So this is fine. Now I don't want, see, I don't want all brands. I want only Samsung. Okay, see? Now from 3000, it's reducing to 454. It's a compulsory optional condition. It's a compulsory condition. Mm -hmm. So when remember, when records are reducing, it's a compulsory condition. And brand, brand equals to Samsung. Samsung. You can see important, 454 records. No, I want Samsung and I want Vivo. See, from 454, it is increasing to 757. This is compulsory condition, optional condition. Compulsory. Optional see, condition. See what oh. happened. Okay, see. It's three, four, 3,000 records are there. From 3,000, it is reducing to 454, oh. 454. Now what happened? I want Vivo. See, records are increasing. So in this part, it's an optional condition. So and brand equal to Samsung or uh, brand equals to Vivo. What are the pointers? In this particular condition, so you, they want to pick either Samsung condition or Vivo brand. Same thing, now what happened? I can open. Now see, records are increasing. It's an optional condition. Got the pointer? So like this way, you can able to make it. Okay. So open. Now totally how many records? It is 1,000 records. Tell me instead of writing R condition, how can I simplify this code? In, 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 in. Okay, we should go for in now. Okay, okay so mute yourself. Okay. So copy the same thing. Now what happened? We should put, okay, it's giving 1,000 records. Okay, we should give specific. Okay, instead of putting R condition, we can write in, in. So brand in Samsung. Okay, comma. Okay, how many values we can able to put? Specific value will go for like in operator, okay, see, it will pick either this value or this value or this value. So compulsory flip card, some compulsory what? Phone is the 
four category. So then range should be thousand, ten thousand and thirty thousand and brand in. So it it will pick either Samsung value or Vivo value or Oppo thing. Okay, out of this all things, it will pick any of the one value. Got the point? Eh? Yes, sir. No? Clear so far. So this is simple only. Now what happened? It is reducing to thousand records. Thousand records. Now same thing. Now what happened? I want only six GB RAM. Okay, see it's reducing six. So reducing the sense, let's say compulsory condition and RAM equal to six GB. Got the point? Eh? Yes, sir. No? Six GB. Clear so far? Yes, getting the points. Eh? Six GB. Okay. Now what happened? So simple, important one more thing. Now, so see the same thing. So now I'm putting 30% or more. Ah, tell me, 30% or more, it's a compulsory condition. It's compulsory condition. Tell me. Compulsory condition. Compulsory condition. I know starting limit. How to write this thing? Now, how to write? Greater than or equal to. Okay, see, I know starting limit. See, 30% or more. I don't know ending limit. We should go for what concept? Greater than or equal to. And discount? Greater than or equal to 30. So remember, when you know starting limit, when you know starting limit, what happened? You can put greater than or equal to. Okay, got the point. Huh? So when you know both, we can go for between. But I know starting limit. Okay. So 30. Okay. See, 82 records. Now what happened? See the same thing. So see, 12,000, 12,000, 12,000. Okay. All 12,000. Okay. See, 15,000. Okay. See, it's a bigger value, smaller value. I want to do starting. Okay. See what happened? I'm putting, what I'm putting? I'm putting order by price uh -huh. high to low. Now what is this concept? Order by, how can I get the order by? Hmm. How can you get out by using what? How can you get the starting? Starting. This is the starting. Start by relevance, popularity, price low to high. Price. Now, how to write this condition? High to low. This is what? Order by. Order by. At last, you should go for order by price ascending or descending. Got the point? So, this is the descent. Got the point? So, same thing. It's a ascending start. It's a newest first based on the year. Okay. Now, tell me why we are getting only 30, 30, below 30,000 because we mentioned 30,000. So, why we are getting above 30,000 because so this range only. So, we are asking particular condition. So, next time, now, whenever doing you know, so same concept. This is so filtering. They want to get, they don't, they don't want all records. They want only phone category, Oppo brand, Vivo brand, 6 CVRAM. This things only got the point. This is the filtering concept. At last, we should do the sorting concept. Sorting concept. Clear so far? Yeah. Yes, sir. No? So same thing. Now see, yes. this is fine. Okay, we'll see one more use case. Okay, see now what happened. Okay. So, okay. If I go for search for Samsung brand. Now, see here, there are so many Samsung servers, but they are getting only unique records. How to get only unique records? Tell me anyone. So, see, suppose like using distinct. a distinct class. Okay, see the same thing. Select them, start from employee. It is projecting all the columns and all the records. Now, requiring is that what I want only department ID. So, it will give department ID. Now, what happened? So, see, it's giving 100. 200, 100, but I want only unique records. How to get unique records? We'll go for distinct keyword, distinct keyword. Go to the point, see, 100, 200, 300. Okay, see, it will give, it is giving duplicate data, but I want to get only unique records. We'll go for distinct keyword. Okay. Suppose like I want to get 300, first 300, then 200, then 100. How to get? How to get? We should go for order by, order by. Uh, order by one, 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 one descending, descending. descending. Got the point? Like this. So this is what concept this is. So they want to get unique records. How to get the unique records with the help of distinct class. Same thing. Now I'm trying to open Mintra application. You should say these things. So I want to get all the columns and all records. How to get? Say select a star. Select a star from Mintra is the table. Okay. It is assume like same thing. It's having five like records. Now what happened? I want to purchase shirt so we should go for what concept we should go for filtering 
concept. Sure. Okay, see. So, where see it is giving 1.5 lakhs. Tell me, as a end user, can I search for 1.5 lakh records, sir? Is it possible? It is not possible. Now, see what happened. So, from 5 lakh records, so where, where category equal to shut. Okay, it is giving 1.5 lakh record. Same thing now what happened? So see, I want to purchase for me. Can I go for women? No. Can I go for so? We should go for what? So see, one from 1.5, it is reducing to 1.2. Tell me, records are reducing. It's a what concept? Compulsory. Compulsory condition. Yeah. Say, not where, oh, but yeah. only one time where. Next time, and, and. Okay, so remember, so only one and. where you'll get, next time you'll get, and multiple, and. Okay. So, and. okay. And. Okay, give me one minute. I'll be back one minute. Okay, see what happened. Okay, see. Category equal to shut. Now what happened? I want to get only for men. What you should write? So, and gender. Gender equal to what? Equal to men. Mm -hmm. So, see what happened? It is reducing to 1.2. Actually, me as the end user, can I search for 1.2 like that, sir? No, it is not possible. Now what happened? Now, see from 1.2 records, I want only blue record. So, how to get? So, click on this thing. So, see blue. So, it's reducing to 2 points. It's a compulsory condition. See, and color equal to blue. Suppose, like, I want to get blue color as well as navy blue. Now, how to write this one? Tell me. Blue as well as navy blue? In, in, in. Okay, you can in, go in, for in. or or you can go for in. So color in. equal to blue in. or color equals color. to navy blue. 
Yeah. Okay, suppose like same thing. I want see records are thirty four thousand are there. Now I want to get white color also. See from thirty four thousand reducing increasing to fifty percent. Optional condition. Optional. See we can go over one more R condition that is white color. Okay. Now instead of writing this multiple conditions, okay, how can we simplify this code? Simple. Okay, by saying in in operator. Okay, see so color. In okay, blue, comma, navy blue, blue. comma, white. Okay, got the point. Um, so like this, I can able to get it. So color in blue, navy blue. So it is giving fifty thousand. Tell me, it is possible? No, it is not possible. As a end user, it is not possible to search for fifty K records. Okay, go to the offline and can. But what happened? So we should make this condition. Now what happened? So see, same thing. Now I want to get. Okay, see, see, important. Now I want to get Louis Pill brand. Okay, see. Okay, how to get this record? So records are reducing. So it's a compulsory condition. And okay, see, and and brand. brand. So brand equal to something like Louis Pill. Only one record I want. Okay, so this is fine. How many records reducing? Thousand records. Thousand records. Okay. Now this is fine. Now requirement is that what? See, I want to get my budget is thousand thirty four and two three five eight. Okay, tell me. I know starting limit. I know end limit. We should go for odd concept. Okay. Ah, uh, between concept. Between. See, and and price between between what? One zero three four and two five two five three eight. So click on this value. We'll be getting only how many records? So five and four records. Now what happened? Okay. I want to get this condition also. See, it is getting now how to write important. Tell me how you are writing. So I want to get so these two conditions. I want to get okay. How to get? Uh, Ara, how to write? Tell me. Uh, 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 so price between okay. Market. Okay. See one more one more bracket. So this is starting and this is. Ending. Okay. See ending. Okay. R. Ah, uh, that's getting the points. Ah, see. So R. So we should write what? Price between. Okay. See R. So price between. So two five three eight. Okay. So two five three eight and four four zero four two. Okay. So four zero four two. So I want to pick either this condition. Are this condition same thing? Suppose like I want to get one more this condition. Okay, see four zero four two four five four three six. Okay, we we need write one more R condition. Okay, so this is important. We'll see. So four zero four two. Okay, and five five four six. Okay, so requirement is that what I so I don't want write three conditions in a single condition. I want to achieve this thing. So instead of writing three condition, ah. Uh, Two five five four six in the first. Okay, see one more time. Instead of writing three condition, I want to get in a single condition. Tell me simple thing only. Ah, uh, yes, eleven. And what time? Say tell me. Price between one zero three four and five five four six. So see what happens. So this is the starting limit. So this is the ending limit and the starting limit. Ending limit and starting. Limit. So we know starting limit. We know ending limit. Instead of writing three condition, how can I simplify this code? Tell me. Simply, what I should do? Simply, okay. So simple, no price. Simply, it will write no price between one zero three four and four double five four. Okay, like this, no. So you can write. Okay, got the point. Okay, we can go for like this way. Or one more way is that what I know starting limit. I know how to write. So 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 price greater than R equals to one zero three four and. So price less than R less than R equals to got the point. When you know starting limit, ending limit, we'll go for either between or greater than less than concept. Got the point. See how many cards came? One one six two. This also a little bit bigger. Okay. Now what happen? I want to get forty percent and above. Ah, uh, how to get only forty percent above? Should I write what? So and discount greater than R equals to forty forty. Hot, yeah, that thing, anything. Okay, now this is thing. Now what happens? See, sixty-three. Now I want to do so. See, so bigger value, small. I want to do sorting. How do sorting? With the help of high to low. How to write this value? 
order by concept okay order by order by concept okay got the point right? like this only take any application data need to come from the database only order by price ascending or descending got the point right? so clear so far so this is so it is projecting all columns and all records so it's giving only shut categories compulsory condition so shut main category only we should prove blue navy blue white only this particular brand and this range and discount as well see 30 percent only with okay discount 50 percent okay because we are asking greater than okay order price this is, so this is where is single one remaining are compulsory value so remember so where is filtering concept okay see so compulsory condition what about and and also compulsory condition what is in it's an optional condition okay in r r okay the next one is that what so between go for a range, range of values range. okay if you know starting limit you can go for between or greater than or equals to less than or equals to okay uh, getting the point sir yes okay so at last we should go for what we should go for sorting concept that is order by clear so far getting a Okay, clear. So, see, take any example. Okay, so, so if you'll take one more example, like, okay, see, so any example will take. Okay, so same use case, they try to go. Okay. So, this is a jewelry. Same thing, what happened? It is projecting all columns and all records. But I don't want, see, it is giving 2,700 records. But what happened? I don't want all the things. I want only something like earrings. Okay, see, it is reducing you, sir, 9751. Okay, same thing. Now, what happened? We can go for filtering concept and a sorting concept got the point up so sort by low to high so lower value to so 3700 to suppose like bigger value so like this way you can able to make got the point up so take any application so there is in the same concept okay now if you're able to understand we see some intro questions okay so filtering is very very important I'm getting the points so see so go back here So instead of see, select a course name, they're selecting specific records from online course table. They want SQL or Excel or Power BI or W. How to write this thing? Simple thing. We can write simply in the help of in SQL, Excel. Yeah. Tell me this is optional optional compulsory condition, these values. Compulsory. No, this out of four, it's a, no, it's a four. Okay. Out of four, at, yes, at least one should be compulsory. Okay, because we're asking. So where, okay, so so it should be compulsory one value or all value should be satisfied, okay. So instead of writing four lines, we can write in a single, simple in condition, okay, in operator, okay. Okay, see, this is important. Okay, so take the screenshot. So put efforts, okay. Remember attending and going daily. I'm saying okay, so there will be no use. Okay. Okay, now suppose like I want to get only this condition. Okay, so select start from uh flip cut where price is the column. Tell me I want only less than 25,000. How do I write? Less than or equal to 20,000. Okay, see so price, so price less than or equal to less than or equal to or less than only simply. Less than, less than because no, 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 they're not asking yeah. no, less than. So it's a less than. So they don't want less than, so less than 25,000. Okay. okay, what about second condition? Second. Between, between, between 25,000 and 50,000. 50, so this is fine. Now, requirement is that what I want to satisfy these three conditions in a single condition. Okay, so tell me. So three conditions I want to get satisfied. How can I get? Greater than 25. So, so from this one, tell 25. me. No, from this one, tell me. We know starting limit or we know ending limit. Yeah. Can you tell Between. me. Ending limit. So see what happened. Yeah. So less than 25, it can be one rupee, ten rupee, or anything. We don't know starting. Yeah. Limit. So see 25,000 matching, 50,000 matching. So see simply you can write what select star from. Select the star from any table. Okay, Tanishki table. Okay, so where price less than or equals mm -hmm. to one like because mm -hmm. we know we know what we know ending limit only okay so same thing suppose like i want to get these two condition in single condition how right 
between 25000 and 1 lakh so where price between 25000 and 1 lakh because we know starting limit okay. we know ending limit tell me how to write instead of between oh, how can write instead of between uh, greater than uh, no, less than less than so, to so where where price price greater than or equal to 25000 and price Previous less than or equal to 50000 oh, one lakh like ending okay same thing now okay. what happened now, these three conditions I want to satisfy in a single condition. But, uh, greater than equal to 25,000. So, so, from this one, tell me. So, I know starting limit, I know ending. So, now what happened? Tell me. Oh, I, which well. one I know? Starting or ending limit? Starting limit. Okay, okay see, starting 1 lakh and 4. 1 lakh can be 2 lakh, 10 lakh. So, I know starting limit. See, simply greater than or equal to 25,000. 25,000. So, for like, I want to satisfy all these conditions in a single condition. Uh, is it possible? Yes, sir. Yes. Mm, how? Yes, yes uh, we can uh, select star from. So see what happens simply. Okay, select simply you can less, than less than not. Okay, see select a star from. It will give. All the records. All the records. Okay, now what All happens? So, so we are not doing any condition. Suppose like if we want mm -hmm. to make the condition, suppose like where price, uh, tell me I want to add the condition. Uh, yeah, tell me we know start. Okay. okay, so we know start number started with what? So we can put greater than zero, zero. That's it now. We don't know starting limit. We don't know anything. Mm -hmm. I'll put. So we can, or we can comment this condition. That's it. For the point of. Okay, okay. So like this is. So you see in this use case, so I know starting limit less than okay or greater than okay. So range I will you can go for between or greater than or equal to less than or equal to got the point a huh? little bit. Same thing we'll go for one more use case. So you should do the start of these things. Okay, see, we'll see this one tomorrow. So zomato zepto zoom is there. Okay, see zomato zepto zoom is there. Tell me I want to do ascending start. Which one will come first? Ascending start. Zepto. 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 First column. Z, Z. So second one, which is the smaller value? So Zepto is the smaller Zepto. value. Okay. Zepto. Next value, which is the smaller value? Zomato. Zomato. See, M N. Okay. Got the point. Eh? Like this way. Okay. So, okay. We'll see the multi columns are tomorrow. Okay. So this is filtering column, filtering concept and sorting concept. Clear so far? Yes. Getting the points a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so see, tell me this one. Okay, so retrieve all distinct salary values. They want to get only salary distincts. How to get? Harder by? No, no, see, see, they're asking only distinct values. Distinct Dist value. Distinct salary. Distinct okay, salary. okay, see, they say, instead of select star from employee, they want select salary. Distinct salary. Distinct salary. Distinct salary. That's it. Okay, so retrieve all employees whose name is in Bellary. Okay, how to write? Mm -hmm. Where address equal to where name where address where address, address. Where address equal to equal or in, to in Bellary. Uh, Bellary. Bellary. Okay. So retrieve all employees who born in 1950. Where data of year is equal to 1950. 19. Okay, got the point. Like this, we should work on. Okay, so got the point. We'll see the same thing. Okay, one question. I'll go for two more. So I'll give the task, try to work on it, okay. So simply display all details of employees working in the company. So they want all details. Simply select the star from employees, employees. What about last one, second one? If you come, instead of start, select Jesus Select a specific column. column. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Department Where? number equal to sir. Okay, department number department. equal to, so they want only particular department. Got the point? Like this only thing, no? remember? So we generally work mostly in the select statement in real time because already data will just, we should write the queries and we should work it. Okay, got the point? So like this only. Okay, so the, instead of single table, there will be multiple tables will be there in real time. Got it? Okay, chill, I'll connect tomorrow. I'll send this task. Okay, try to work on it. Okay, so remember, so do practice.